Guys, uh, welcome to your um, career and money reading for uh, Aquarius. This is going to be for your October 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. We are going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in your career, your finances, and then we'll finish off the reads to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the left behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Aquarius people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post or when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too. All right. So tell me about... Um, Tell me about uh, Aquarius. Aquarius and their career and finances. What's going on with Aquarius and their career and finances for um, for um, October 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs for Aquarius. For Aquarius. All right, you got the Eight of Wands here and the Magician. Whatever, whatever you're creating here, whatever you're manifesting here, Aquarius, this is taking off. Yeah, this is taking off here. You know, some of you guys might have uh, manifested a new business or something like that, okay? Uh, or that you guys are achieving whatever uh, work situation that you're in. If you're working in, uh, working in a nine-to-five situation, you're definitely achieving uh, what you set out to do here. Or that people are noticing that you are really sk like a skilled worker. Um, oh, yeah. We have the Page of Pentacles here and the Nine of Pentacles here. Some of you guys could be getting a new job offer here. Yeah, some of you guys are getting a new job offer. I do feel like um, people are noticing you for your skills. You know, one of the things I'm getting is I feel like, you know, other companies could be like running around, like trying to poach you from the current situation that you're in. But whatever is going on here, like things are really taking off here for you. You're getting noticed for what you what you do here. Some of you guys are incredibly creative here. Okay, so... um. This is interesting. I don't know why I'm getting this. This is like newspaper. This is like journalism or something like that. I get the feeling that someone here is trying to poach someone here from other, like from the current company that you're working at. Okay. The uh, Nine of Pentacles here and the Age of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the Hangman here, Pisces, Energy, and the Fool. There, I do feel like there's a new job offer here that's going to completely change your life. I do feel like you're going to be making a lot more money or something like that, or that they're going to pay you a lot more. The hangman, Piscean energy. This is interesting. I, 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 with the hangman and the fool card, I almost get the feeling I heard good things come to those who wait, or good, good things come to those who are patient. And I feel like you've been patient throughout this whole process here. And I feel like good things are coming to you. Yeah, eight of wands. We have the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Magician. And the Four of Wands here. Wow. Um, some of you guys took time to build a new home or something like that. If uh, you guys didn't build a home, uh, you guys might have renovated a home or, or something like that. And I feel like it's coming to completion or that it's coming to fruition right now. Seems like there's a lot going on here, uh, Aquarius. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Some of you guys are house flippers. Are you guys house flippers or something like that? Maybe you guys do real estate on the side. Maybe you guys house flip on the side. Uh, but maybe you guys also have a full-time job or something like that. But whatever this new offer that's coming in for you, I feel like this is an offer that you can't refuse. Yeah, this is an offer that you can't refuse. So I feel like maybe you guys have a full-time job and then you guys have multiple businesses on the side or something like that or that you're working on, okay? Uh, Page of Pentacles here and the Moon. Cancer Pisces energy here. You know, one of the things I'm getting here with the Moon card here, you know, I feel like this has, this is something, this is something that you should know that there is hidden things that you guys didn't speak of during the interview process that will start coming up, you know, when, um, when you start this position here, you know, it could be a situation that, you know, they told you that you're, 
these are responsibilities, then you get surprised. You, you know what I mean? Um, but, you know, I do feel like this is something that, it, for some of you guys, it won't bother you. You're just kind of kind of like going to go along with it. But for some of you guys, it might. Tell me about the hangman. When we have the six of swords, the fool, and the three of wands. Whatever this is, that this job offer that's coming towards you, I do get the sense that you might be traveling a lot for this work, that, this job here. Some of you guys might work in construction. Some of you guys might work in architecture. Some of you guys might work in like landscape architecture or something like that, or um, or city architect or city planning or something like that. Yeah, this is gonna allow you, or that this is this is gonna definitely create more work for you where you're going to be traveling a lot or moving around a lot. What else do we have here for Aquarius? What else does Aquarius need to know? City planner? Is that what it's called? Yeah. What else do we have here for Aquarius? What else does Aquarius need to know, look out for, work on for um, October 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, so when it comes to the career, we have the Nine of Cups here. This is definitely going to create some sort of happiness here for you, some sort of fulfillment. I do feel like some of you guys are going to be meeting a, <clears throat> a bunch of new people when it comes to work and maybe a, a ton of new clients here. But, you know, I do feel like you are going to provide them with, you know, some sort of satisfaction here, you know, that they're looking for. Okay, uh, let's see what else we have here. We have the Six of Cups here and the Page of Swords. This is so, this is so interesting because I feel like whatever you guys whatever work that you guys do right now, I do feel like it was inspired by Legos. I don't know why I'm getting this, but this is, the, yeah, this is someone that, it, it might be very specific to someone. Yeah, whatever work that someone here is doing, it was inspired by Legos. Yeah, um, the Seven of Cups here and the Empress, Libra Taurus here. So whatever job offer that you're about to take here, there will be a lot of growth and expansion here, but there, there will be a lot on your plate. There will be a lot of work here. And I feel like it's something that you will, you uh, won't, will not, something that you will, you will be able to handle. Okay. Uh, the uh, Empress with the High Priestess, Cancer Pisces, Seven of Cups here, and the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. This is an offer that you can't refuse. This is a big offer here. Yeah, and and I feel like there's a lot of responsibility. There's a lot of money that's involved here. So I feel like you might be responsible for a lot of money here too. Okay, so the uh, Page of Swords, we have the Seven of Swords, Six of Cups, and the Four of Cups here. Protect your work. Don't share it with people because I do feel like people might sabotage you here. There are opportunists in and around you here with the people that you work with. So just be careful. Yeah, but... Oh my God, you're about to get really, really, really lucky here, Aquarius. I feel like you guys are really tapped into some lucky energy here because I, I get the sense that, you know, a lot of you guys have been in, in this lucky energy when it comes to your own life, when it comes to your career, maybe, when it comes to your personal growth and your spiritual growth, but things are looking really good. So Aquarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.